You can define connection elements for weldments and structural systems in SOLIDWORKS, and then insert them into a structural part. In this example, I've created an L bracket with some pre-drilled holes, along with a few different configurations for the part. To create a connection element from it, I'll activate Define Connection Element from the Command Search field. For its references, I'll choose a generic placement type, select the two back faces for the primary and secondary references, and then select the default right plane from the feature dropdown for the tertiary reference. Ensuring coincident is selected for the optional mate types. I also want to propagate the holes on the bracket to any adjoining structural members. So I'll select the two existing cut extrudes for feature propagation, and then click OK. The connection feature is now displayed in the feature tree and can be edited at any time. Next, I need to save this part in the correct location so it can be inserted into a structural model. I've updated the file location for connection elements on my computer to a new folder in my design library. Note that there must be at least one subfolder within the top level folder where you'll save your connection element parts. Each subfolder within the top level location will be the standard you select when inserting connection elements, such as ANSI inch or BSI. The models within these folders will be the type of connection selected, while any associated configurations for each model will be the size selected for the connection. Now with the Insert Connection Elements command active, SOLIDWORKS automatically populates the connection selection options based on my location file structure. I'll define the connection I want to insert, and then use the reference entities to place the connection in the model. I also want to select the two beams for the cut scope propagation before clicking OK. And as you can see, the holes are successfully propagated through each beam. And I can always go back and edit the feature to try a different configuration or placement if desired.